Hello everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. Today let's talk about something that's not used all that often anymore, but still can make a difference in the speed of your published pieces, and that is the bandwidth analyzer that comes with Captivate. So let's go to Project, and we'll go into Bandwidth Analyzer. Now, you'll notice while it's analyzing, I actually hid quite a few of the slides on this particular project. And I did that because it takes too long to, to run the bandwidth analyzer for the limited time we have. So we have about four or five slides, uh, actually four slides total that we're analyzing. And two of these have video. So you'll see some of the things. Now, here we go. It analyzed the slides. And you notice on the first one, it needs um, 83 0.4 K bits per second to process. It also has a video file there, which is about three megabytes. So we know that the first slide has video. The second slide has a 400 and something K um, video as well. So these are larger slides. And you can tell when you go to your graph. So in the second tab, here's your graph. Well, look what happens. The first couple of slides, we have video. So our demand for bandwidth goes up substantially. And as we work through the other slides, it goes down quite a bit. Uh, and we don't really need that much after that. There's probably a little bit of a spike here because we've got probably heavy audio. But this one in particular is where you have the biggest demand. So as you're building your pieces, you can determine, do I want to have one video? Maybe I want to break this into two or three videos. So the bandwidth demand as people access the course is lower. If you can level load that a bit, you won't have the spikes in the uh, initial uh, loads. Uh, the other thing you can look at, this gives you a project summary. So this again tells you information about your piece, um, all the critical information, how big the piece is, the, uh, the underlying uh, frames, how much each, or, or slides I should say, uh, how long they are, and approximately how much uh, bandwidth you'll need for each of them. And here's some more information on the slides. Now, I personally find the graph actually the most important piece of this for me because it tells me where I need to make my changes. So if I have a large piece, I can, I can actually level load things by breaking content up. Keep in mind, whenever you actually publish something that has a lot of either slides or video, that uh, if you have a lot of users, let's say you have a three megabyte video here at the beginning, and then um, on this slide, and if I play that, for example, if I hit, um, I'll hit F10 here to preview that slide. You know, it takes a little bit longer to preview because it is compiling the, uh, the flash video that's in here. I'm Dr. Kathleen Daly, the Director of Yale Mental Health Services for the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health. And I'm Lieutenant Deborah Jones. I'm with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. So anyway, you get an idea. That's uh, the video playing in that. Now, if you have a three megabyte video and you've got a thousand users going to look at this, that's a lot of bytes that you're going to be getting into. If they all take that course at one time, your bandwidth could really suffer. So keep in mind when you're actually putting out these courses to make videos as short as possible or create multiple videos instead of one larger one. Because again, unless you have unlimited bandwidth, and in this case they had quite good bandwidth, so a three megabyte video wasn't an issue. But if you have a situation where three megabytes could be a lot, times that by the number of users who could possibly take that initially, and uh, you're running into maybe some bandwidth issues where your IT department might start getting a little bit upset, and so will your applications people as everything comes to a, to a complete stop. So anyway, that's it on the bandwidth analyzer. Kind of gives you an idea of how to take a look at what your course is doing and how to better streamline it. For Captivate Quick Tips, I am Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation. Thanks for listening and please subscribe.